Hey guys, how's it going? Um, just got a new SKS from uh, Cabela's uh, with the Topco stock. Uh, this is the um, actual Soviet version of it. It's not the Chinese one. Um, but anyways, uh, had a lot of trouble with uh, getting the mag to fit in. Um, looked, looked up a couple videos. Guys were, um, you know, shaving like the, the points here, which I did. Um, still couldn't get it to fit. Uh, I didn't have, I had a little bit of marking on the back here. Um, like from putting it in the gun. So I could, I could see that it was scratching a little bit there. So I shaved down that a little bit. That didn't fix the problem. So what ended up being the problem for me is actually, um, is this lip here was way too thick on the inside. Um, so the outside I kind of just shaved down, like just kind of sanded a little bit, but not, uh, not too aggressive. And the inside, I actually have to take a lot off. Um, what I what I ended up using is just I don't know I couldn't find uh, my file, so I ended up just using a uh, a grinder disc that I had. Um, and I'm just kind of shoving it in on an angle like this, and then just kind of rubbing it back and forth. Um, so it takes a long time. I mean, if you had a round file or something, it'd be a lot faster. And then I just had uh, just a cheap like dollar store block of um, sand, sponge, or paper, whatever you want to call it, and, uh, yeah, I had to file those down a lot, um, it was actually quite surprising, I couldn't find any videos on it, everyone else was just filing down, like, the common points, um, to make the mag fit, so they filed down here, oh, these corners, um, where else were they filing down, oh yeah, and then lots of people were saying that they had to file down on the back here, um, but I didn't, I didn't have an issue with that. Um, I filed a tiny bit on here just with the sandpaper um, just to make it fit real easy and it comes out real easy. Um, so it's nice and smooth. Um, but yeah, and then I ended up uh, filed a tiny bit in the back portion here. So you can see just to try to slope it a little bit right there. Because um, when you're loading them, they kind of, the bullets like to catch on there. Um, like the back lip here likes to just catch right in there so it makes it kind of hard to uh, hard to load them so now if I can put a bullet in here with one hand hopefully like so so you can see so basically you need to try to make it as thin as you can without uh, without it being like thin enough that it's gonna break um, yeah, so I shaved down both sides there. So I shaved it down on the inside, like where the where the bullet makes contact with it, or the shell. Um, and then I shaved a tiny bit angled off here. Not a lot, uh, but a little bit. Um, so if, it, if you are having this problem, like if you um, file the front down, the front two corners there, um, if you have any markings on the back here, if you file those down a little bit, um, and you're still not getting the, so my, my mag fit in the, in the gun fine. Um, but it just wouldn't push the bullets forward cause it was too, this part was too thick. So it wouldn't actually let the bullet rise up like that. Um, so it was, it was pushing it forward and it was just staying locked like that. Um, so yeah, so if you, if you do the common ones, um, just to make it fit in the gun and you're still having an issue, this was, this is what I needed to do with mine. Um, I need to shave the actual inside of the mag um, where the bullet actually slides in and out. Um, yeah, and then uh, and then it loaded loads really smooth for me now, so you don't have to um, you don't have to like pull the hammer back and like let it go. You can actually you can just pull it back and smoothly slide it forward, and it loads. Um, so uh, so yeah, it's nice and smooth now. Um, that's what I had to do for my Tapco MIG. Um, lots of other guys are doing other things, but it seems like the common one is the front corners here. Um, and then anything to kind of do with the back um, portion here where it actually clips in. Um, but yeah, and then, so hopefully this helps some of you guys out because I wasn't really sure what to do. I tried every, all the front, like the front shaving and the back. Um, probably did it a little too much actually because um, everything on YouTube was saying that that's a common problem so I just kept shaving it to try to make it fit but 
didn't really work. So, um, so yeah, and when you do this, try to take, uh, what I tried to do is I tried to make it thinner on the front. You can kind of see a little bit, like on the front portion and leave it a little bit thicker on the back. Um, just so that it angles the tip of the bullet up um, so that it wants to go into the barrel. Um, yeah, so basically, because the, the barrel's gonna sit like this, right? So the, the higher you can get the tip to rise up, then um, the easier time, the easier time that uh, it can load. Um, and then the, the smoother shots you'll have, so um, yeah. I think that's pretty much uh, pretty much it. Um, if you haven't taken a mag apart before, you just push this little plastic tab in. Push the tab in, and then slide this plate forward. Like so, and the spring will come out. There's a, I live in Canada, so there's a retainer pin in here, so it's a five shot, um, so the spring doesn't fall out. Um, but then it drops your uh, drops your kind of top plate in there so that you have more room to work and then you can uh, then you can get in there and, and shave her down so yeah just take a little bit off at a time I kind of widen the back out a little bit too uh, I'm not sure if that I think it helps a little bit but um, the main thing is getting getting the inside of this thin um, so the bullet uh, has an easier time sliding past it um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Um, if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to leave me, uh, shoot me a message or whatever. But uh, yeah, hopefully this helps someone out. Thanks, guys.